What's up, it's Chuka the Barber. This is the Rich Barber Mixtape Volume 2. And uh, man, I had to throw this cut on there, man. It's a classic taper, it's by me. I'm not even gonna lie, this haircut is about three years old, this tutorial, but I never released it and I wanted to make sure like it gets released because it's a really good classic type of cut that um, is always gonna be around. So uh, this is how I do it, this is how I get down and um, we're gonna show you step by step. So this is a 1 8 guard on the masters. I'm going with the grain and I'm combing it at the same time to make sure the hair lays down and I can actually preserve waves. This is a 1 16th guard and uh, basically what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to clean up the hairs that are still sticking up. Sometimes with the waves it kind of still pops up a little bit. You want to cut those off. You want to lay down real smooth. So you always want to gradually work your way down if you want to preserve the waves. And uh, first lay it down with a bigger guard and then go over it with a lower guard is what I did here. And then um, just make sure it's laying down smooth. Okay, we got the wall balding clippers. Starting my first guy line for the taper. Now I have the Andis T outliners. This has a modified blade on there. If you haven't heard about the one minute blade modifier, it's out now. You can use this to modify the blades to get them to hit sharp just how these are hitting. All right, it only takes one minute. Get them modified perfectly and you're good. All right, so right now I got the Andis Masters. We've got the lever closed and I'm starting my first step of my blend, okay? Now we start with the lever closed then I make that small adjustment like you just seen me do and I just bring it up a little bit, okay? Make another small adjustment and I just bring the guy line up a little bit more, okay? This is how I fade, this is how I taper, okay? And for me it works and I think if you try it out, I think it'll work for you too. It really allows you to get real detailed with your blend, okay? Another adjustment, taking the guy line and the taper up a little bit more. stay detailed with it as you blend that way you don't really have too much backtracking to do when you have to do your final touch-ups another small adjustment and we're just gonna blend it up now you should see the blend happening you should see each guideline being removed if if you do adjust it and you start blending up and there's still that guideline is the you adjusted the lever too much, all right? So you just wanna barely do it and, and watch the blend come together. Watch it happen, all right? So now we got it lever all the way open. We're gonna bring it up some more. guard on lever all the way open and now I'm gonna create a new area to blend so I'm gonna take this up and it's not gonna fully remove the guy line now when I got the guard on there I work my way down with the blend so I adjust the lever by bringing it in and closing it okay now I go halfway and I blend down <laughs> Okay, bring it up some, bring the blend up some, and I'm gonna blend my way down. I'm gonna close the lever as I work my way down and blend it. One 
16th guard. I'm gonna make sure I lay this hair down smooth. Especially around the air and behind it and where I'm gonna line up. This preps it real good, okay? And now you can see, nice crisp lineup. sharp line okay you don't really want to go and push up you want to come down and catch the hair and then pull away here again laying down the hair prepping it for the lineup make sure it's laid down smooth that way you can get a nice easy crisp line And I'm basically using the same technique. The only difference is I'm using the Andis Fade Masters in combination with the Andis Masters, okay? So just pay attention how I do this. It's gonna run through it pretty quick. But it's the same technique pretty much, okay? Now with the Masters, I'm gonna start opened up, you know? And I'm gonna blend downward as if I had the guard on there like I did on the other side. Close it and blend down and blend it into the Fade Master Blend. detail though make sure as you blend up make sure it's blending you can see the blend happening and that there's no lines and that it's very detailed okay it all comes together in the end okay it might seem like you don't really see the blend too much right now but it all comes together in the end so blend it tight and make sure it's very detailed and clean <laughs>
touch-ups. classic taper right there you can't go wrong with this type of taper this has been the rich barber mixtape volume two i'm sugar the barber i'm out